A bus crashed in Calusa County. It killed 11 people on board. And tonight, the bus driver is facing criminal charges. Investigators say he may have fallen asleep behind the wheel. Laura Cole is live off of I-5 with more on the crash and the potential punishment here. Laura? Well, buses travel the freeways all the time on their way up to casinos. You can see lots of cars here tonight. Quentin Watts was in Calusa County traveling on a road on his way up to a casino. And now tonight, the DA's office has charged him with 11 counts of vehicular manslaughter. It was in Calusa County near Williams. Quentin Watts was driving this bus when he lost control and it crashed on its way to the Calusa Casino in October. More than 40 people were aboard, many from the Laotian community. 11 people died and more than 30 were injured. Right after the accident, Watts was arrested for driving under the influence, but that charge was dropped. Today, the DA's office filed new charges, 11 counts of vehicular manslaughter. The CHP report suggests that Watts may have fallen asleep at the wheel after being up more than 40 hours. Criminal attorney Harlan Antler says there are two ways to prove vehicular manslaughter. What you have to get to in vehicular manslaughter is that they either did something they shouldn't have done, they broke a law, they went through a red light, they did something terrible, or they didn't do what they should have done. Antler says the DA will also have to prove that Watts was in no condition to drive. What they have to prove is that he, um, that he was doing so much driving or that he was up for so long, a reasonable person would have known you don't drive under these conditions, particularly if you have the lives of 40 or 50 or 60 people uh, uh, on your shoulders. Now Watts is back in prison tonight on an unrelated parole violation. If convicted on these charges, he could face up to 20 years in prison. All right, Laura, thank you very much for that tonight, live for us, and we are learning.